Why is it many people stay stuck in their environment in life? I spoke to lots of people over the years who will blame where they were born because they can't get on in life or their family or their teachers. Um, they say it's the economy or there's no work in the area or they just don't fit in. And I mean this in the nicest possible way. You are not an animal. You're a human being. If I dropped a polar bear into the, the desert or Egypt, it couldn't survive. If you dropped a lion into the North Pole, it couldn't survive. Because they're not built for that environment. They're programmed instinctively to do the same things and react over and over again. Human beings, on the other hand, can adapt to different environments. They live in environments all over the world. They can cope with change, they're very resilient, and they can learn new things constantly. That's us, we're human. That's you. If you believe you can't change, you can't adapt, you can't learn new things, you need to think again. You can go back and educate yourself in anything that you're passionate about. Years ago it might have been harder, Today there's no excuse, there's online courses, there's live Zoom courses, there's free courses everywhere. There's something out there for everybody. First of all you have to understand what you're passionate about or maybe what your purpose is and then go about looking at what you already have, the resources that you have, you've accumulated. And maybe what you need to learn or pick up along the way. Or maybe there's support. A lot of people are frightened to ask for support. There's lots of support there. For, for everything, there's support out there. If you look, if you want it, you'll find it. But you have to go and look for it. You can get support from one person. But I always found, you know, if, you, if you're on your knees and you find it hard to get up, one person will struggle to get you off your knees. Five or six people, ten people, it's later work. So the more support you have around you in life, the easier it is. So if you feel that you're stuck, if you feel you can't move on, you can't adapt, stop looking for excuses around you. I could find lots of excuses. I could read a book on the blame game. Or I could write a book on solutions to human problems, to solving problems. Ask yourself positive questions. Stop asking yourself, why am I stuck? Why does things not work out for me? Why have they got something and I haven't? Do something about it. Ask yourself a positive question. How can I get that? How can I educate myself? How can I feel happier? How can I live a better life? How can I experience more in life? How can I help other people? What is my purpose? Only you can answer those questions. But remember what I said earlier. We are not animals. We are not stuck to the one programming. We can adapt. We can survive. We can thrive, not just survive. So start at the start. Get a bit of paper. Write down. What you would like to have in your life? What type of person would you like to become? Start with something small, something simple. It's just tiptoeing outside your comfort zone. Don't shock yourself. And then build that muscle every day. Enjoy it. I'll often say life's like a game of snakes and ladders. You know, If you're playing that game and you get a snake, you don't say I'm not playing anymore. Keep rolling the dice until you get a ladder. And keep rolling the dice and keep playing the game until you get to the end of it. Because life is a game. Stop taking it too seriously. Get out there, do your best, give it a go. Because all we have at the end is memories. See you all in the next video. Um, hope you got something out of that. If you like